coins, right? Yeah. Yes. But if you find yourself stressed and wondering why the balance to your savings account isn't increasing, maybe it's time to take a serious look at a few things that you could that could be causing you to waste money without even knowing it. So today we're giving you tips that can help keep money in your pocket instead of letting it go down the drain. This is Money Mishaps. Hey. Hey. Money person, the budget nista, Tiffany Alicia. Hey. Hey. You always help us out so yes. much. You are amazing. Tiffany, when it comes to food, please give us some ways that we may be wasting money. So almost everyone has been to those big warehouse stores, right? Yes. yes. And you see those perishable items and you wonder, if I bought that, would I be able to finish it? Mm -hmm. Chances are you won't. No. Uh, <laughs> and so buying those big bulk items, although it seems like savings, if they go to waste, you're really wasting money. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But not just there, non-perishable items as well. So you might see, say, like a box of toothbrushes and there's a hundred of them. You're like, I know I must be saving. Mm -hmm. But you want to look at the unit price. Because the unit price of a normal toothbrush might be $2. If you look at the unit price of that box toothbrush, it might be $2.50. Oh. So you're just buying more. So just be mindful when you're buying a bulk. That's oh, smart. Right. That's That's smart. I, I, I never thought of that. Okay, now when it comes to coupon codes, Tiffany, what are some of the ways that we're throwing money away? Uh, you know, I love a good coupon. Yeah. And if you're not using digital coupons or you're not signing up for free reward programs, the cashback programs online, you're leaving money on the table. Almost always when you shop for something online, at the end it says something like enter coupon code here. Yes. Right? And what that means is that there was or is a current coupon code. And if you do a little bit of research, you can save up to 70%. What? Wow. But 70 yes, don't stop there. There are, cool, there are things you can, it's called a cash back rewards program. It's right. free. You download the extension to your browser and as you shop online, you actually earn money as you shop online. You get like money back. Okay. Right? What is this? Yeah, it's called a cash rewards program, cash back cash rewards. Cash reward. Mm -hmm. okay. But also, too, here's the thing. People think that all savings are savings. So if you buy something on sale, say like a blender, and the blender is normally $80, but you weren't in the market for a blender, and now the blender's on sale for $30, you think if I buy this blender for $30, I save $50. Mm -hmm. No, you really just spent $30. Because if you pay for something full price, that, that you were going to pay for a full price just because you bought it on sale doesn't mean you actually saved. Like, you know, so you need money spent. Exactly. So you really only want to buy things that you intended to buy. Those are the good things. Ah, yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Make a list and stick to it. That helps. Tiffany, now the holidays are coming and many of us will be traveling. Can we get any deets on how we can save money in the travel department? You want to be loyal, not just in your relationship. <laughs> you want to sign up for free loyalty programs for an airline as well as hotels because you can earn free vacation. Yes. Yeah. For an airline, you might actually get lounge access. You might get food at the airport for free. My favorite is that you can actually get upgrades for hotels. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I fly from Jersey to LA whenever I come here to hang out with you guys. Hey. And because I use the same airline, I actually get upgrades for yes. free. They would normally cost me a hundred to one hundred fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. wow. You know, but Points can be used for things, not just for upgrades, but for experiences. Yes. You can experience a cruise, sporting events, concerts. So just be mindful and sign up for loyalty programs. Nice. Wow. I love that. Okay. Always get your miles and all that stuff. Yeah, I always sign up for loyalty programs, okay? Now, uh... Oh, gosh. <laughs> Use credit cards as a form of money, right? So... Is there any way we're leaving money on the table by using credit cards? Yes. So I'm not a huge fan of credit cards unless you use them properly. Mm -hmm. So first things first, you want to make sure that if you're going to use a credit card, to try your best to pay it off in full every month. Yes. So you're not paying interest on the balance, yep. right? So now that we got that out of the way, find a credit card with a rewards program if you're going to use it anyway. So you want to find a rewards program that's in alignment with your life. Travel a lot, like yep. I know you guys do, get a travel card. Yeah. Buy a lot of groceries, get a grocery rewards card. Okay. If you buy a lot of gas, there are cards that you can actually earn cash back on, on your gas purchases. Wow. If you're not sure, hmm, I'm not sure which reward, rewards program works for me, you can go with what's tried and true, which is just a cash back rewards program card. Okay. I so love that's that. A card. Every time you swipe, yeah. you earn cash back. Girl, either uh, way, you win, you win, you win. Tiffany Thank always you. comes with these amazing tips. Yeah. We have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more for you.